I'm here in Victoria Tower Gardens, next door to the Houses of Parliament, underneath the statue of Emmeline Pankhurst, the women's suffrage campaigner. Emmeline Pankhurst was born in 1858 on the 15th of July, though she regularly celebrated her birthday on Bastille Day, the 14th of July, clearly identifying herself with the French revolutionaries. On the floor in front of the statue is this plaque which tells us why the statue was erected as a tribute for her courageous leadership of the movement for the enfranchisement of women. The statue of Emmeline Pankhurst is here next to the Houses of Parliament, thanks to the women who campaigned with her for all those decades. After her death in June 1928, within weeks, Kitty Marshall, a very active suffragette prior to 1918, was knocking on the door of the Ministry of Works, announcing that a committee had been set up and that they intended to commission a statue that should stand near Parliament. Raising the money for the statue turned out to be very, very easy. What was much harder was the negotiations with the Ministry of Works for where the statue would go. However, eventually they got a site in the middle of Victoria Tower Gardens. This statue was unveiled by the Prime Minister Stanley Baldwin in 1930. The unveiling was spectacular. Thousands of people gathered. There was a band of policemen playing, being conducted by the famous female composer and suffragette Ethel Smythe. In his opening speech, the Prime Minister said that Emmeline Pankhurst had earned for herself a niche in the Hall of Fame and that she would be remembered forever for her work for campaigning for women. The statue, I think, shows her looking rather genteel and respectable and although she was a respectable woman she had gritty determination and a huge amount of strength to campaign for many many years for women's suffrage and i think the artist arthur walker has perhaps whilst capturing her physically not really got to grips with her personality in 1950s um, victoria tower gardens was redesigned and the statue of Emmeline Pankhurst, which had originally stood in the middle, was going to be consigned to the far end. Once again, the women who were still alive, though very elderly, who had campaigned with Emmeline Pankhurst, had to fight to have the statue put in a better position. This time, of course, they were helped by women MPs who were in the House of Commons. And eventually, this site here was secured and the statue was once again rededicated. So now Emmeline Pankhurst is right next door to the Houses of Parliament, where of course she campaigned regularly to improve women's voting and democratic rights.